What's going on, Israel? Hello, hello, hello. Shalom, Israel. Shalom, Judah. Shalom, shalom to the house of Israel, the house of David, King David, Yahuda, Judah, the elect. Got a message, daily edification. Hope is edifying. Gonna deal with nano tattoos. But first and foremost, like to give all praise and glory and honor to the Most High, Yah. And his son, Yeshua Hamashiach Yasharal, and the Holy Spirit, Rakakadash, giving all praise and glory and honor to the Father in heaven, the Creator, the God Almighty, the Holy One of Israel, the God of the ancient days, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, uh, Elohim, the Holy One of Israel, the Most High, Yah, some of you call him Yahweh, some of you call him Yahuwah, some of you call him Ahiah, Abba, the Father, the Lord of all the Lords. The God of all the gods, the creator of all the worlds, okay? I'm giving all praise and glory and honor to his beloved son, his only begotten son, the son of man, his right hand, our Lord and Savior, Yeshua Hamashiach Yasharal. Some of you call him Ashaya Hamashiach. Some of you call him Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who a lot of you call in the world, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Lamb. And giving all praise and glory and honor to the Holy Spirit, Rakakadash, double honor to the apostles and elders, and much respect to you, brothers, that's doing the work with truth and sincerity, risking your lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth, allowing the blind to see the depth to hear and waking up the dead. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect that's scattered out and abroad. Okay. Uh, nano tattoos. Uh, we're going to deal with this. All right. Uh, Tattoos, okay, we do know that's a mark, all right? It's in your flesh. It's a mark on your flesh or in your flesh. Going into Leviticus chapter 19, verse 28. But we're going to do it with, deal with nano. And the title of this lesson is going to be titled, the nano tattoos, I mean. It's going to be titled, Nano Tattoos, the Beast and His Image, Different variants of the MOTB, and you know what the MOTB is, the mark of the beast, RFID, nano RNA. okay? But this news came out a couple of days ago, nano tattoos, okay? And in them, in them tattoos, the nano tattoos has a device in it, and it's inserted in you. It's embedded in you. It's implanted in you, okay? And uh, before we go in to the lesson, I'm going to talk about the tattoos. During the 1990s and the, uh, the late 80s and the 1990s, tattoos starting to be a big thing, big trend, okay? And I knew they always had a hidden agenda with these tattoos. They was grooming and conditioning people, okay, to this, when the time come, this day, when they mandate and push this MOTB, the mark, all right? So those who, you know, got tattoos during that time, and they made it big in, big in hip-hop, you know, entertainment, fashion they made it big everybody was getting i ain't gonna say everybody but a lot of people was getting tattoos okay a lot of people was getting it your uh your artists people that play sports actors actors um uh, you name it man but now they got this uh nano tattoo okay that's out and you know, this is uh this is part of the agenda. It was all tied in, okay, to get you because people love getting tacked. They say it's the it's the pain, it's the needle, okay, the, the the ink. So if they can get you to get that, they can get you to down the down the down the line, down the road, they can get you to get this uh nano tat tattoo. Okay, it won't be that hard for them. When they put it out there for you to get it. But 
this is all part of their plan, okay? Once you accept this, okay, this nano tattoo, you are accepted the beast and his image, okay? Because this is part of his image, the nano, the nano tattoo. And you're worshiping the beast because his device, his image is in that, that nano, okay? It's embedded in you. It's inserted in you. So the beast is in you, okay? And you're given a barcode number. So there are different variants of the mark of the beast, the MOTB, okay? You got different variants of the MOTB. And this is one of them, the nano. And you got another one, the RFID, where it's embedded, where it's inserted in your skin, implanted in your skin, marked in your skin, implanted, inserted in your skin, or the neural link in your forehead, or in your brain, but your forehead. Okay, now, <clears throat> now, so people want to know, well, he said the MOTB, the mark of the beast is in your right hand. Now, Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, it says right hand, but Revelation chapter 14, verse nine, it says hand. It don't say right hand. It don't say left hand. It say hand. In Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. In Revelation chapter 20, verse 4, it say hands. Okay? So this is the mark of the beast. This is his image. Okay? His number. And when you get that, the nano tat tat tattoo or RFID, radio frequency identification, embedded or inserted in your hand or in your forehead, okay, implanted in your hand or in your forehead or embedded in your hand, you embed it in your, the chip is embedded in you, okay, in your hand or in your forehead, you receive that mark, regardless if it's in your left hand or in your right hand. Now, most people get it in their right hand, okay? I mean, I ain't going to say Masalaki and most people get it in their right hand, but I'm going to say this. Most, the, the mass majority of the people use their right hand. Now, some use their left hand, and then you got some people that's equal-handed. But that's one of the reasons what I think, my opinion, in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, he said in their right hand, Okay, but in Revelation chapter 14, verse 9, it says in their hand. In Revelation chapter 20, verse 4, it says in their hands. Okay, so we are, uh, you don't pose to let nobody put nothing up in you. Your body is a temple and you're bought with the price. You're not of your own. Okay, and we're going to open up. And Lord willing, I read some of this news article, but we'll open up in Leviticus. Okay. So when they started this trend, this tattoo, they had a hidden agenda. They had something in the future. And this is prophecy. They knew they were have they was going to bring out. For it's prophesied. The most high is, is controlling everything. But they knew during their NWO. The agenda, eventually, they knew they had to come out with this, so they was grooming and conditioning people, and people was falling for it. And to make the story, to make the long story short, we got some people even that's in the truth, and some people that say, you know, that's Christians or whatever, coming into the faith, they still getting tattoos. This is Leviticus chapter 19, verse 28. And it reads, it says, you should not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. Okay. You should not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print 
any marks upon you, I am the Lord. So you don't supposed to make no cuttings in the flesh. Okay? No cuttings in the flesh. No device in you. Nothing embedded in you. No implants. Okay? All right? Or no marks. No print and no marks. That's tattoos. So no chips up in you, no device, no nano, no RNA, no uh, RFID. That's the mark. You get that up in you, you got the mark in you, man. And there is no repentance pertaining to Revelation chapter 14 when you take that mark. Okay? Now, it says right here. Now, this is what I say. I say the mark of the beast, not no tat tattoos, it's the image of the beast and how we perceive it with our minds and our hands. Now, this is spiritual and physical. Okay? The MOTB, the mark is spiritual and physical. But we're going to deal with the, the physical. I dealt with the spiritual part of it. Many lessons and videos I did. Okay? Some of my channels was terminated, but I still got channels. You can go on YouTube and, you know, and search for uh, MOTB, you know, and hopefully some of my lessons. I did a ton of videos on it. But anyway, to make the long story short, I said, Mark of the Beast, not no tattoos. It's the image of the beast and how we perceive it with our minds and our hands. Now, let's go into Revelation chapter 13. Verse 16, and look what it says. It says, and he calls the fall, both small and great, rich and poor, free of bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. A mark. Okay? Now, going back to Leviticus 19 and 28, it says you have no cuttings in the flesh or print marks. And roughly, I'm paraphrasing. But this is dealing with a mark, a device, the beast's image, the image of the beast, and his number. And when you get that mark, you're given a barcode number. That's the beast's number, his number, his image. All that's all in one. And that mark, and that RFID, that nano, RNA, Okay, Luciferus. And some they got the point of those who get the ba 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 the R the I mean the MRC five. Okay. Now it says, and he calls of all both great, small, and rich and poor, free of bond to receive a mark in their right hand, in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might by himself say he that had the mark or the name of the beast. Or the number of his name, see? And that no man might by himself say he that had the mark, one, or the name of the beast, two, or the number of his name. Here's wisdom. That's three. Different variants of the mark of the beast. And I'm pretty sure it's more. There's different variants of the mark of the beast. And that's part of the lesson. Okay? Let me read this lesson to you. The title of this lesson is going to be the title of the lesson is going to be Nano Tattoos. Okay, right here. Nano Tattoos. Come on, hurry up. Nano Tattoos. The Beast and His Image. Different Variants. MOTB, RFID, Nano, and RNA. And we do know these are devices of the beasts. Okay? That's inserted in you. Embedded in you. In your, inside your skin, your body, and plant it in you, okay? A wicked device, and it alters your DNA. They can rewrite your DNA and how you're doing things you're not aware of. You become a slave, a permanent slave, a drone, eventually. And that nanobot, nanotechnology, and RNA, I think they said it take 28 days for it to fully get in your system. 
But in so many years, you, you're gone. You're not the same person. It destroys the temple. Okay? You're bought with the price. You're not of your own. So glorify your temple. And roughly, I'm paraphrasing. We get 1 Corinthians chapter 6. Now, it says, The mark of the name of the beast... Or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man. And his number is 603 score. 603 score. 666. And there's different variants of the mark of the beast. That's just three I named. RFID, nano, RNA. Okay. And I named a couple of more earlier. Now we're going into Revelation chapter 14. Listen to this. Now in 14, Revelation chapter 14, verse 9, it says in your hand. It don't say in your right hand. So regardless if you so if you get it in your right hand, your left hand, you still receive that mark. You're doomed. No repentance. Okay? He said it in chapter Revelation chapter 13, your right hand, and he said Revelation chapter 14, your hand. Let's read it. It says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship, see, if any man worship the beast, one variant of the MOTB, and his image, two variant of the image of the beast, I mean two variants of the MOTB. It says, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. Okay. See? The beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. The same should drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup. Of his dignation. Dignation means the Lord's wrath, judgment, righteous judgment, wrath, anger. Okay? It says, The same should drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his dignation, and he should be tormented with fire and brimstone. In the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So this, this is clearly telling you there's no repentance when you take this. Because your temple is doomed. He can no longer use your use you any Salaki, excuse me. He can no longer use you anymore. Okay? Your temple is gone. You become a permanent slave to the beast, Satan the devil, the Antichrist, the great the, the, the uh the, the great red dragon. Okay? You become a drone, a humanoid, okay? Your DNA is altered, and you got the device in you. You're under surveillance, okay? They can control you, all right? In Revelation chapter 14, verse 11, and the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image, who worship the beast and his image and receive and whosoever so like, and whosoever received the mark of his name. See? So, <clears throat> you know, nano tattoos are one of the variants of the MOTB, the mark of the beats. Okay? There's a device in that nano. Okay? You're under surveillance. Okay? It's a barcode. And that mark, that tattoo, there's a device in there. And also you're given a barcode number, which is the image of the beast and his, num his, his number. Okay? You worship that beast. You accepted the beast, the mark. So therefore, you're worshiping him. He owns you. Okay? You accepted the mark. It's already embedded, inserted in you. You're marked. 
You got that device in you. You're owned by Satan, the devil, the great dragon, the antichrist, the devil, the beats. Okay. Now, let's go to uh, Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 5. And it reads, It reads that thus said the Lord God, cursed be the man that trusteth in man. So you trusted in that man of taking that device that was embedded and inserted in you. That's marked. You marked. Okay. It says, thus said the Lord God, our power. Thus said the Lord, cursed be the man that trusteth in man and make a flesh his arm and make a flesh his arm. And make a flesh's arm, and whose heart departed from the Lord. See, your heart departed from the Lord. You ain't supposed to take that. Okay? You ain't supposed to put your trust in man. So now they gave you this device and they make it sound real good. They persuade you, tell him, oh, you able to do this, you able to do that. It'll uh it'll give you certain abilities, you'll be able to. Think better, you'll be able to, uh, you know, uh, you will have advantage to do more of the things, you know, as far as you ain't got to, uh, you can just do it with your hand. You don't need all to carry all this stuff, but they don't tell you the flip side on it, okay? There's a device that's in you, okay? Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. Least Satan should get advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And we're not ignorant of his devices. The righteous is not ignorant of his devices. We see what he's doing. We know that this is a wicked device. Okay? This is the beast, his mark, his image, his number, and his name. And you worship him when you, ex when you accept this. Especially when it's embedded in you a device. A nano. And then you got the RFID. And then you got the RNA. And now let's forget the Luciferus. Now let's forget the MRC5. Okay? Now. Let's go to. Uh, that was Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 5. Thus saith the Lord. Cursed be the man. That trusteth in man and make a flesh his arm whose heart departed from the Lord. So when you accept this, you accepted the beast, you are already worshiping him because his image is in you. And that device, I mean, the device is embedded in you, in your skin, your flesh, your body, and planted in you. Okay? He got you under surveillance. He got you marked now. You his property. And you given a barcode. A number. Now let's go here. Revelation chapter 20, like I was saying. In Revelation chapter 20, he say hands. Okay? He don't say right hand. Like in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. Or he don't say hand. In Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. But he say hands. So it can be your right hand or your left hand. Now, in Revelation chapter 14, verse 9, it just say hand. Okay? But in Revelation chapter 20, verse 4, it say hands. Let's read it. Revelation chapter 20, verse 4, and I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness. Of Jesus, Yeshua, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Yashirah. Some say Yahweh Shai. And for the word of God, our power, the Most High Yah. And which have not worshipped the beast, one variant of the MOTB, neither his image, two variants of the MOTB, neither have received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. See? Foreheads and hands. Three different variants of the MOTB. 
and they lived and reigned with Christ, Hamashiach, Hamashiach, 8,000 years. Now, <clears throat> so you get it. The nano tattoos is part of the MOTB, okay? This is his image, his number, and you're worshiping him by accepting this tattoo or RFID or RNA that's implanted in you, inserted in you, marked on you. The tattoo marked on you, nano tattoos marked on you. Okay? The RNA, RFID, and nano, nanotechnology, nanotech, or nanobit, nanobot. Okay? And it alters your DNA. Like I said, you no more longer belong to the Lord, the Most High and the Son, okay? He can't use you no more. Your temple is destroyed. It's defiled. The beast got you now. He owns you, and you become a permanent slave, all right? Now, let's go to uh, 1 Corinthians, and then I'm going to read some of this news article. I just want to clear some of this. Just get a couple of scriptures so you can uh, get a little understanding. Now, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse, let's start with 19, okay? Now, this reads, it says, why? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which you have of God, and you are not your own. Okay, we are not of our own, man. These temples belong to the Most High, our power, our God, man, the Father, the Creator. Abba, the Father, the Creator. Okay, you are not of your own. So when you take this mark, okay, your whole temple was destroyed. It's defiled. Okay? Because they got a wicked, evil beast device in you, and they can control you. And it destroys the creation of the Most High. Okay? You're not the same person anymore. It says, what? Know ye, know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, a power, and you not your own, and ye are not your own. For ye are brought with a price. For ye are brought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body. And in your spirit, which are God's. Okay? So, you're supposed to protect this temple. You, you don't supposed to allow nobody to put nothing up in you. No markings. No implants. No cuttings. You know. No uh, embedding in your skin with devices. No implanting in your skin with devices. Nano, RFID, RNA. MRC5, Luciferus, none of that crap poison. And we got some people that compromise that got the uh, uh. And they getting sores and dying from it. Pertaining to Revelation chapter 16, verse 2. And it says, And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men. And it includes women and children too, which had the mark of the beast. Upon them which worship his image, getting the uh, uh, the booyah, that poison. Okay, do you know what the uh, uh, with the luciferous, the MRC five nano? Okay, now so your temple is the Holy Ghost. Let's read that again. Salakia. I hope I'm... Let's, let, let, let's go back. 
Your temple belongs to God, man. You're not of your own. Okay? And it reads again. It says, For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Going back to 19. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which you have of God, and ye are not your own. And you are not of your own, man. Okay? So, going back, when they did this, uh, these tattoos, the trending, when they was making this a big trend in the 80s, the late 80s, 90s, you know, all the way up to now, they was grooming and conditioning people so when they get ready to mandate and bring this thing out, the MOTB, people so used to getting tattooed, they just pretty much give into it because people like getting tatted anyway. And, you know, they already making markings, marks in their in a skin. And see, even some of the piercings, the cuttings, but now they got this device. So they're going to pretty much, you know, Bring that to people, and people going to eat it up. They're going to be rushing to get it. All right? Now, this is some of this news article. It says, new nano tattoos don't need batteries or wires. While it has biasiner potential, the ink could be sprayed on almost anything. The ink could be sprayed on almost anything. Researchers have found a way to create nano tattoos that can passively send data, see, passively send data, using a technique similar to that of RFID tags, all right? Overcoming a long-standing hurdle for the technology researchers at two institutions in Istanbul, Istanbul have created Nano tattoos capable of passive wireless communications with hereby devices. See, it's the device in you without the need for external external power. Sources such as batteries, the advance could lead to numerous biosensing technologies that have up until now been stymied by relying on a bulky eternal power source of weird communication. So in, in other words, this device that's embedded and planted, inserted in you by you accepting getting this nano tat tattoo. So whatever you're doing, it transmits to the uh to the to the B system computer. Okay. And you're pretty much under surveillance. You're marked. All right. This is a device. An evil wicked device, man. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11 again. At least Satan should get advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And we're not ignorant of his devices. Okay? They tell you. Researchers at two institutions in Stabo have created nano tattoos capable of passive wireless communications with nearby devices. With nearby devices. So you're under surveillance without the need for eternal power, okay? External power, so like your sources such as batteries. Bear with me, y'all. So yeah, man. And so you have to protect these temples. But it's already prophesied that two-thirds are going to be cut off and die, and the third will be left therein. Okay? Zechariah chapter uh, 13, verse 8. And I already read to 14, the penalty of receiving, taking this mark. Okay? Revelation chapter 14, verse uh, 9. Again, and it reads, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead, or in his hand, the same should drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his dignation. And he should be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. 
and the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they had no rest day nor night, who worshiped the beast in his image, and whosoever received the mark of his name. Okay? And Revelation chapter 19, verse 20 says, It says, And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, which, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, and them that worshiped his image, two variants of the MOTB. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. If you notice, it says, and the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, that mark, okay, inserted in you, implanted in you, embedded in you, the RFID nano RNA, and then that worship, and then that worship his image, okay? So his image, his number, all is that all of that is in that device okay when you accept it even the booyah okay there's different variants of the MOTB all right yeah man so when you get this nano the nanotechnology i mean the nano tattoos is part of the MOTB okay he ain't just saying your hand he said worship And his image. Okay. Now going back to Revelation 13. It says the number. Revelation chapter 13 verse 16. And it said he calls of all. Both small and great. Rich and poor. Free of bond. To receive a mark in their right hand on the forehead. Now Salakia. It's not Revelation 14. It's Revelation uh, 20. Salakia. Yeah 20. It says and I saw the thrones. And they set upon them and judgment was given unto them and i saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of jesus and for the word of god and which have not worshipped the beast neither his image neither have received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands and lived and reigned with hamashiach a thousand years his image his mark did it say a number or well, maybe that was 14 Salakia, y'all. Uh, let me see. Um, what was that? The number. Okay. Okay, right here, 17. And that no man might buy or sell, say he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Revelation chapter 13, verse 17 again. So lock it. Let me clarify this so you won't get the wrong impression. Revelation chapter 13, verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell, say he that had the mark, variant of the MOTB, or the name of the beast, another variant, mark of the MOTB, or the number of his name. And when you get that tattoo or any, when you get the booyah, you're given a barcode number. When you get the RFID, when you embed it, that implant inserted inside your skin, okay? The cutting, the mark in your hand or your forehead, the newer link, you're given a number, okay? That's the number. That number belongs to the beast. He got you marked, all right? You're marked. Uh, and you don't even pose to do the testing, putting a branch up in your nose. Let's go to Ezekiel on that. When they tell you to do the testing, you don't even pose to do that. I ain't did none of that. I never got no tattoos, none of that. I never fell for the tattoo mess. I already knew it was wicked before I was in the, in the truth. This is Ezekiel chapter 8, verse 17. It says, Then he said unto me, Hast thou seen this, O son of man? Is it a light thing to the house of Judah that they commit 
the abomination, the abominations which they commit here. For they have filled the land with violence and have returned to provoke me to anger and lo, they put the branch to their nose and lo, they put the branch to their nose. Ezekiel chapter 8 verse 17. Okay. Now, uh, Psalm shot the 141. This is a wicked device. It says, let me see. 40. I think it's 40. It says, yeah. Psalm chapter 140, verse 7. O oh God, the Lord, the strength of my salvation, thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. Grant not, O Lord, the desires of the wicked, for they're not further, Salakit, grant not, O Lord, the desires of the wicked, further not his wicked device, lest they exalt themselves, Selah. As for the head of those that compass me about, let the mischief of their own lips cover them. Okay? This is a wicked device, man. All right? So, you don't pose the, uh, get no type of print marks, no cuttings, none of that. So, this is an abomination. This is part of the MOTB. And it's all tied in. The image, the beast image, his number, and his mark, his name. Okay? The title of this lesson again is going to be Nano Tattoos. Nano Tattoos. Okay, right here. Nano Tattoos, the beast and his image, different variants. MOTB, and you know what the MOTB is. Maggot on the brain, mark of the beast, RFID, nano RNA. I could add MRC5 and Luciferus, but I'll just leave it like that. RFID, nano RNA. Alters your DNA, they can rewrite it. You're not the same person. It destroys the temple of God. You become a permanent slave. No repentance when you take this. That being said, Shalom Israel, Shalom Judah, Shalom, giving all praise and glory and honor to the Most High, Yah, Haya, Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel, and His Son, Yeshua, Mashiach, Yahshua, like Christ, Savior, and Redeemer. And I thank Him, can I thank Him and thank Him? I mean, I thank Him and thank Him, so like you, can I thank Him enough for intervening our affairs, having mercy on us, and for having the holy angels to watch over Israel, the righteous, the elect, the remnant. Can I thank Him and thank Him? Can I? Salakit, can I thank him enough for intervening our affairs, having mercy on us, and for having the holy angels to watch over Israel, the righteous, the elect, the remnant. Shalom, Israel, shalom, Jesus, shalom, the Holy Spirit, Rakakadash. See you in the next lesson, Lord willing. Shalom, Israel, Rakakadash.